Oh, hey everybody, it's the Black Ghost. Um, and I've got probably the last unboxing I'm going to do for a while. This is a Cons of Tarkir Fat Pack. Now, I normally don't get Fat Packs because um, the contents that are in there are not usually worth what it is. I mean, you get a pretty reasonable box. I use these Fat Packs box all the time. I usually get them for a couple bucks off of somebody or my local game store. After you use them, you can get them at Star City Games or something like that. Um, this particular one I got because I got about $10 off of it from buying it off eBay. And I also really wanted this. The player's guide that comes with it. Mostly because I can't for the life of me figure out... Remember, at half of the names of all the damn cards. So... It seems like this would be a little bit more handy to have at my at my grip than you know my phone app, perhaps. Um, and it's always there's always some cool stuff. Like here's the ten coolest cards of uh, cons. I got the two planeswalkers, Soren and Sarkon, and then they got a fetch. And I guess that polluted deltas uh, basically. He's uh he's representing all of the fetch lands. Um, Murder is Cut, Windmate Rock, uh, they seem to be doing a pretty good job. These are actually most of the cards that are reasonable, at least the first pages. Um, and then you get to find out, you know, like, Timur and the leader of the cons. So, a little bit of backstory is always nice. I miss that they don't do, like, actual full books for these anymore. That kind of makes me sad. That's the thing that keeps the, uh, the box from falling down. Anyway, so here's the, the lid. There's actually a pretty reasonable poster in there. There usually is. Okay, so this one's a wide. You view it wide. Let me see. There we go. So you can kind of see it there. Across there. And it's, you know, it's actually just Zergo Helm Smasher. The, the large version of this. So, eh. So there's the rest of the box. So what have, they had a lot of extra cardboard in here. So if you need extra cardboard, then they have these really cheap, crappy uh, deck boxes that um, basically hold just about 60 cards. Um, I use them. The only way I really use them is to separate certain cards. Like I put all my slivers into a box like this. Or if I wanted to put all of my, I don't know, all of my gates or all of my something. All of a certain kind of card, um, just popping it in a box like this helps. But otherwise, you can fit about a 60 card unsleeved deck in here, and it's not entirely worth it. So you get a big pack of lands. I have way too many lands as it were, so I don't really need it. But I now have nine chances at a fetch, so let's see what we can find in here. Additionally, it comes with a spin-down die. Um, at this point, I have so many spin-downs that it's it's silly. But there's a Timur spin-down die. And we got five booster packs in here. One, two, three, four, five. As well as a rules reference ca uh, card. This one's going to have the other four booster packs and a land booster. Just all lands. Uh, where's the... Packaging. Uh, contents. 80 basic layout cards. Alright, so let's just go ahead and crack some packs here. Let's we'll see what we get. I want all foil fetches. That's what I want. Just a pack. It's full foil of fetches. A god pack. Alright, so here's our pack. Alright, uh, Timely Horde Mate, Seek the Horizon, Raider Spoils, and our rare is a Keru Spell Snatcher and Warrior. This is when you flip it up, the spell is countered, and uh, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. So it could be uh, an interested limiting card. What do we got here? I'm probably just going to get all crap rares, knowing my luck. Doo -doo -doo. 
Come on. Glacial Stalker, Shatter. Dragon Grip. Opulent Palace, one of the Trilands. That's nice. Just Kai Elder and Ugin's Nexus. If a player would begin an extra turn, that player skips that turn instead. If Ugin's Nexus would be put into a graveyard in the battlefield, instead exile it and take an extra turn after this one. So there sounds like there's some great EDH use for this. You can keep people from doing dirtily stuff. And you could probably figure out a way to basically put it into play and then destroy it. Sacrifice a thing. Sacrifice an artifact. Okay. Can tutor it out. Metal worker, or not metal worker, uh, uh, Forge Forge Master, and be like, oh, I'm gonna sack three and grab it. The next turn, I'm gonna sack eight and two others and grab another one and just keep taking turns or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll break it. Well, it would be EDH, so you wouldn't have multiple ones. Uh, Master of the Way, or Master the Way. Um, which actually is pretty reasonable and limited. Uh, Cure of Bloodsucker, which gets some good use in the uh, limited. The Bear Companion, also useful and limited. Hey, and a Bloodstoke Champion. I can definitely use some of those. A really quick, um, quick critter. And uh, every time you raid, you can get it back. So, has a lot of use. It's pretty useful. There's a Mono Black Humans deck that's kicking around right now as we speak when I made this video. And that guy, he lives in that deck, so I think he's a pretty reasonably costed card. Um, hopefully I'll have fixed this video so that the cost pops up and it goes, Hey, that's more. That's not, you know, dirt cheap. All creatures get negative two, negative zero. Till the end of the turn, when the creature dies, it's turn again one life. How cute. Oh, I showed you the end. It's Dragon Style Twins. Uh, I got this as a uh, promo. In, in um, excuse me, my seated, my second seated pack. I went Jess Guy in the second, in my second pre-release. Um, and I did well there. Um, I won game one of three, 41, uh, four, with 41 life. And then I couldn't cut through all of the flyers that the guy had. So I ended up losing games two and three, and losing the top prize because of it. A little unfortunate. So, do 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 do. Goblin Slide, Jeskai Charm, Horde Ambusher, and Sagu Mauler. This guy is a massive pain um, in Limited. Huge, massive pain. If this is a Limited pool, I'd be very happy to see that guy. But it's not, it's just me opening packs. Alright, what do we got here? Come on, Foil Jace. Oh wait, that's not this fat pack. Aerostorm, Ardu Horde Chief, what we need down, down by Grizzly. Got bigger bears. We make bigger, better bears. Stubborn Denial, I'm looking for several more of these, so that's good. Uh, Sultai Flare. Teamer Charger. I got a Teamer Charger that was um, miscut, which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, and the Eternal Dirtle Turtle. Mandarin Tower Shell for 5 for 5 9. The Island Walks, that's awesome. However, whenever Mandarin Tower Shell attacks, exile it. Return it to the battlefield under your control, tapped and attacking at the beginning of the Declare Attacker's step on your next turn. So it takes uh, like 5 turns to deal to deal 10 damage. But it has a huge butt. It's a huge creature with a big butt. So if you do crack one of those in a limited uh, format, uh, potentially as a, as a sealed pool, or maybe as a second or third pick in a pack, might not be bad. Highland game. Chief of the Scale. High Spire Mantis, not bad. No Mod Outpost, and a Ghost Fire Blade, which I already have. I ended up picking those up because I really, really, really want to make an Insole Artifact deck work in Standard. 
And Ghostfire Blade seems to be pretty useful with that, seeing as most of the 5.5s you're insoling are colorless, so they will give you some stuff. They'll give you uh, a cheaper equip cast cost. Uh, Jeskai Charm again. I got a good Jeskai Burn start here. Horde Ambusher, Nomad Outpost, and a Grim Hero Specs. So, another, couple, another piece to uh, Mono Black Humans. This one is whenever a non-token non creature you control dies, draw a card. With that guy, he can die, you can draw a card, and then you can attack and put him right back, right back out again. So, no fetch lands so far. I picked up one, only one, and that was as the pity pack I got. I finished, I believe, two and two, and that kept out, kept ourselves or... I finished... If I had won my last round, I would have gotten three packs, but instead I only got the one pack everybody got. Um, but I at least got a fetch in that pack, so works for me. Uh, what do we got? Goblin Slide, Sultai Flare, High Spire Mantis. Yay! And the last one is the fetch! The Bloodstained Mire! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So that, that uh, yeah, that was that was worth the wait. Thank you for being in the last pack. That's very, very happy. And that's good. It goes right into my, uh, my, uh, red deck wins. Burn deck. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and stuff. I'll tell you if I made my 30 something dollars. It'll probably be like right there. Alright, so happy hunting. Hope uh, you get all the fetches. Um, <laughs> unless, of course, you're drafting, and then all the fetches doesn't really win you anything. But, any other time, hope you get all the fetches. Adios, senors and senoritas. Anyone else? Dogs, cats?